Hi there guys, I'm Bo Lorenzen, the FPV guy. And as you know, this week I'm at the CES show in Las Vegas. What I'm, I'm right now visiting the Zero booth and what we're looking at here is some brand new products from a company I frankly never have heard about in the drone environment before. But I gotta tell you, we're looking at some really slick design, kind of stealth fighter design here with some very clever features. So I'm very interested to see where it's gonna go. I wonder how they came up with so much engineering and I'm thinking we're looking at a lot of venture capital gone crazy, creating really hard content right here because this is new content that we're gonna see more of. So let me walk through this really quickly for you. On the back side here, you see a monster battery, and I think it's brilliant thinking that instead of sticking these things inside the aircraft, they're literally attaching it to the aircraft from the outside. There's a little unlock latch here. How I'm, I cannot demonstrate that without first removing the camera. So you have to remove the camera to remove the battery. Some of us would think it would make more sense that you have to remove the battery to remove the camera. So maybe that's an upgrade. All of these pieces here are engineering models. They are prototypes. They are in no way final. So because of that, I think we're gonna see a lot of refinement. Now, when you go to the front here, so we were looking at the battery on the back right here that you can release really easily. Turning it around, we're looking at the front. Right here on the front, you have a 4K camera on a three-axis gimbal. Up on top here is a micro SD card and you have a limited rotation, so you have what is called a yaw dampening gimbal. The entire gimbal pops right off, and that's what I really like. Everything here is very modular. So let's put this down and look at one of the other items with some very cool features. And again, like I said, these are engineering models, so a lot of this is gonna change how it functions as they are moving forward. But we're seeing a ton here. We are again seeing the same design here. You can slide out the 4K camera. We're used to seeing these 4K cameras with a gimbal lock. So I'm not gonna take the gimbal lock off because some of the ladies over here from the company are staring at me as it is. But moving right along to the coolness, up on top here, you see the little AVAX radar. This actually is able to turn 360 degrees, and what it does is when you fly forward, it's not using ultrasound, it is using an optical camera to create essentially a 3D map of the environment it's flying in, and if you get anything, any object too close to this camera, it will refuse to go any further, and basically you're gonna see it stopping and hoovering. Now here's where it gets cool. Once you're hoovering, this camera is gonna start slowly turning 360 degrees and pr protects its environment from obstacles. So instead of having obstacle sensors on all four sides, they basically have one sensor that rotates around. Now if you stick it backwards and start backing up, you're gonna see the camera come around and protects its direction of motion. So if you're flying sideways, it will protect this side. If you're coming the other way, it's gonna protect this side. So that I think is a really interesting development and I'm sure they they also use some of this space in the antenna part for outright antennas to get better connectivity. Being a drone guy, I gotta tell you, I'm looking at some of these shapes and this is something that has to grow on me because I'm not ready for these square shapes yet, but I love the technology that's put into it, the high speed, high powered processing power, because that processing power that they're putting in here allows us to have much, much more complex features than what we are seeing on a 250 mini quad razor. This has a whole different set of feature sets than what we saw two years ago on the average video quad. So that's it, that's the Zero. This is actually the Zero Explorer that I'm checking out here in Vegas. Stay tuned, click subscribe for more videos.